It is of a great sadness that I announce to you the passing on of my daughter Israela. As a father, it was my desire to see her growing and living to fulfill the purpose that the Lord had called her for. Israela was born during the time when myself and my wife were going through a lot of persecution. She has grown knowing nothing but the labor and the fight and the pain as palace had been through in the course of saving God. Israela was not just a child, but she was someone who had given her life to Jesus Christ as her Lord and her personal Savior. Israela was a young girl who loved worship and serving God. Allow me, as I stand here this evening, to convey to the Bushiris eulogies for Israela from their excellencies, the State President and the First Lady of the Republic of Malawi, His Excellency Reverend Dr. Lazarus MacArthur Chakwera and Her Excellency Madame Monica Chakwera, respectively. Their Excellency's encouragement are also conveying the celebration message, especially to the Bushiris as servants of the Lord. The President and the First Lady are fully aware that there are others in moments such as this who do not understand and it doesn't even sink well with them that a servant of the Lord of a nature and a stature and a stamina of that of a major one, a man who actually encourages others, who prays for others and even bury others cannot be touched with such instances of God's providences. That cheap, superficial and misconstrued theology is a typical diversion digression and indeed an apostasy to the sovereignty of the Lord and indeed the interpretation of scripture. For this reason therefore the president and the first lady do understand and stand with the prophet and the prophetess in solidarity. I want to say we know beyond depth and beyond height. We know exactly where Ella is. We know this. This is the fact. So resurrection we know is there, then we definitely have to lighten up and really, really show that we are not at all in mourning. We are happy. Something is second place. Not so many people that have been used like Israel has been used at a young age. People in wheelchairs rising up. People receiving prophetic words. Simple little girl. To the extent that my own son said something important, he posted that you showed us that it is not age that God uses. It is not about age. Israela, a student, a friend, a playmate, a sister, a niece, a daughter, an angel. Where there are no words, know that silences are carrying the thoughts and prayers of all who loved you. Ella was a special child. She was born to equally special parents. Born on Christmas Day and passed during Easter time. She made us proud and that cheeky laugh I'll forever miss. I find myself very privileged to have called her my niece. Prophet uh, Major Boucher and uh, Prophet Chubet Angel receive my condolences Death is nothing new, but we seem and we might never get used to it. Indeed, it is true that in all things we should be thankful to God. God gave the life and he has taken the life. Where we fail to console you, prophet, may God do the job. We celebrate the life of Saint Israela and we pray continuously that may her soul rest in continuous peace. I just wanted to assure Major One and Mama, in Prophet Ubed Angel, you are not alone. People can hate you, people can despise you, but we will not despise our own. I do believe that we all understand the story of Job. He went through turbulent times, and we all know how it ended. It was a celebration. The Lord that we serve, the Jesus we serve, doesn't fail. And he will not begin from you. May the soul of Saint Israel rest in peace. Indeed, we are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Saint Israel. God is the one who gives life. 
And every now and then he gives us special life, as he has done in the case of Saint Israela. Today, if any tear flows in this place, let it be tears of joy and rejoicing. If anyone cries in this place, let it be a cry of victory, for Israela has overcome. I believe that this gathering, and I pray that this gathering should bring you closer to God. Isaiah said, the year when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. In other words, the death of King Uzziah brought him closer to God. No. I pray this afternoon that the death of little Israel no. should bring you closer no. to God. No. Some no. of you are very far from no. the Lord. No. But the death of this girl no. should bring you closer to no. God. No. This is an honor to have as many people as I see now coming to lay the remains of Saint Israela. It shows two things, the impact of the parents and the impact of Israela herself. Many times when a small kid passes away, nobody talks about what they used to do, but with Israela, it is different. My wife and I are broken, but not destroyed. The badness of the devil cannot change the goodness of God. It is a wish of every parent to be buried by your children, not the other way around. However, when God was calling me, he taught me one thing, to bow to his sovereign will. I have taught my wife that, and I taught my kids that, and I preached that. Are we the first uh, people to go through this? Am I the first person? No. You have all gone through this and be strengthened and be encouraged. What you went through is what we're going through. But we all have faith and hope that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he's the same forever. What is remaining for us with Israel is not for her to come where we are. But when God at his own sovereign time comes, we will both go where she is. With all our hearts, we have accepted the call of God of our daughter, Israela. I know it's all you've got to choose. Be strong. It's a fight just to keep it together, together. I know you think that you are too far gone oh. But hope is never lost Hope is never lost Hold on, don't let go Hold on, don't let go Just Get through this, just follow. 
is not.